this is the Fusey Clocks guide on how to put your clock in beat. Basically, pendulum clocks need to be in beat. If your clock's not in beat, it causes a lot of problems. Um, you can have bad timekeeping, or the clock might stop. It might stop after 10 minutes, it might be an hour, it might be a day, or four days, or so forth. You get unreliable timekeeping. Um, for your clock to work to the best of its ability, you need it to be in beat. So this is different to regulating your clock. Regulating is where you adjust the height up and down of the pendulum bob weight. Um, in B is actually getting it so that the pendulum swings equally to both sides of the stroke. So I'll, I'll demonstrate with this clock. I've chose this clock because it's got um, a nice loud tick to it. So if I just open the doors, it is available on my website, this one. Lovely clock. I'll start it ticking and then I'll put the phone next to the clock so you can hear what I mean. Right, I told you it's got a lovely loud tick this one. I can't really get any visuals of any worth here. But basically if you listen to the beat of the tick it should be pretty much the same uh, sound both sides of the swing. So if you listen Right, now I'm going to move the clock slightly to the left. It would be the same if I moved it to the right, but I'm going to move it slightly to the left. And you listen to the noise change in the beat of the clock. It's starting to change now. And the further over I get it, the more it actually goes out of beat. So now if you listen to the beat, it won't be a regular noise. Now I'm going to move the clock back into beat. And I'm only moving it millimetres at a time, maybe three or four millimetres. But I'm now going to move it back and see if we can get it into beat so you can hear the difference. So that's now in beat. And I'm going to move it out again. Now on a lot of clocks this would actually stop them working at this point. But this one's got a very strong swing on the pendulum anyway. So, And now I'm going to put it back into beat again. And that's it. And as long as you get that so that it sounds pretty much the same on both sides of the swing, you should have a reliable timekeeping. If it's still unreliable, then you, it could be that the movement's dirty and it just needs a good clean. Or it could be just that we need to go down another route and find out why your clock's actually not running the way it should be. But um, Nine out of ten times, that's the problem, putting your clock in beat the end.